be sure to go to FlipSideGaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. Do the same at the Grizzly Gentleman, same promo code, 10% off at checkout. Both of these are fantastic deals, and they help support the show. Hey, bro, it's your boy Therix 6 back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena, isn't it? <laughs> I tried. What's up, Planeswalkers? Therix 6 back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, today, we have the, the assistant back again. Uh, once again, I'm going to be doing some some days with assistance, some days without it, uh, and at the end of the week or something, some arbitrary amount of time, I'll ask which do you prefer on my channel page, channel community page, whatever. Um, before we hop into it, go ahead and uh, check out my second channel. I'm going to probably upload a, a game of Fall Guys today uh, as well. But uh, we're, we're back with Bolus because it is Wednesday Bolus video, and we have made some slight changes. The main one being, uh, we just yeeted uh, sweltering suns the the way that the the red and blue kind of worked together i just i didn't like uh, i i felt we had too much red in a deck that is primarily black with essentially a secondary blue because we really want these on two uh and then we we can have some red once we get to the higher cmcs so i did i did modify that um i in doing so i did you know go back up to uh the three cry of the canariums uh i am technically uh, down one sweeper in the main deck because of that, because I, I I believe I had two and two, but I'm hoping that's not too much of an issue. I threw in Supreme Will. Initially, I was going to try and get Narset into the deck. However, getting Narset into the deck proved to be uh, too many mana problems uh, than was good. Uh, theoretically, I could have gone up to 27 lands. Uh, at, we're still at 26. I could have gone up to 27 in order to fit Narset in and still have a workable mana base. However, I didn't want to. Uh, so we, we have two Supreme Wills in here. I, I like Supreme Will because one of the reasons I really dislike counter spells in this deck is that that's all they do. <laughs> Whereas Supreme Will, at the very least, I can use it as essentially a one-off uh, as Canto the Suck and Ruin, right? So I do I do like that kind of situation. So I, I'm, I'm going to try out the Supreme Wills um, to see if they can help me out anywhere. Uh, I did cut down to one Scarab God. I, I got some other win cons i don't know if i need the two scarab gods um i did feel they cluttered up my opening hands a little bit too much we modified the sideboard a little bit uh, we threw in a necro one necromentia and one unmoored ego uh, essentially i want to try out to see which one is kind of better uh necromentia does give them a, a board but it's it's only a tutu zombie maybe two like there's no way they're gonna i'm gonna hit three of the same card in their hand um Whereas Unmoored Ego literally lets them draw another card. So, generally speaking, Necromantra is stronger for my purposes. Because I, I don't want them to have cards in hand if I'm getting rid of a specific card. Um, however, you know, I just I want to see how they actually play. Um, if it actually makes a difference. For what it's worth, Unmoored Ego can hit uh, all lands. Necromantra can't hit basic lands. And that's because Necromantra can get all the copies... This one is up to four, I believe. Yeah, up to four. So, um, did I change anything else? I up actually up to two. I think I think everything else is the same. And in general, I I like where the deck is for the most part. Uh, I did essentially make it a new deck just so that I have a new deck stats for it. And we'll hop on in. I did uh try and focus on the recent Hooglandia as that's kind of what I should be um, building against. Apparently we're playing against Sir Elton John. Didn't know he was a magic enthusiast. It's a very unfortunate hand. But I do believe I have to mulligan. I do like the Supreme Will, and I like the potential for these, but if my opponent is on control, then this is just trash. This hand is also quite bad, but we have more, we have more mana this time. Um, I think we keep this and we eat the search. Don't love it, but hopefully they're on aggressive strategy. That does not scream aggression to me. This screams Golos Field. If only I had the search. Yeah, so this is this is ramp. Based upon this, I'm assuming it's field, but it could just be teamer. 
Hulk things. You might just, yeah, it's just, it's just Team of Ramp. So we're, we're pretty slow on the, uh, the upkeep. Um, if they are using Cultivate, they might also be using Finality of whatever the green one is. Uh, or Hour of the green one. So uh, Ashiok might be able to help out. Yeah, I mean, they're just ramping fast, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. So they can they can just cast Ugin next turn. I have nothing to stop it. Yeah, this also just screams that they don't have Field of the Dead at all. Which, you know, possibly helpful. But if my opponent just drops an, uh, an Ugin here, we're in a pretty tough spot. I guess they could also just flash one of these back. Crisis. Okay. Well, I can't do anything about it just yet. So I'll just pass. And take seven. Nissa? Sure. Still not the end of the world. The land fights for us. Now it is. Power without wisdom is the path of the fool. Alright, so we want we definitely want negates. Do we want Aether Gusts? Possibly, but I'm not sure. Uh, we definitely want Thought Distortion. Ashok we like, Onward Ego, and Necromancer I do think we like. Uh, Cage, I don't think is necessarily worth it. Um, I do think... It doesn't seem like a field deck, so I think I can just yeet all of those. Um, Heartless Act is less valuable here than Illuminate is. Uh, Innocent Blood, also not very helpful. So I think I probably yeet this Innocent Blood for an, Aang, uh, an Aether Gust. Do I yeet anything else? Our Devastation is nice because it does hit Planeswalkers, and it can kill the Nissa Lands. Do I want anything else, though? I mean, this would stop specifically um, um, Uro, but Ashok can help with that as well. So I think this is fine. I get Scarab God technically helps as well. So hopefully removing all of my anti-aggro cards will help this, this game out. First, not if we draw poorly. I think I might have to... The thing is, right, I go up to 27 lands, and I start just flooding constantly. But whenever when I'm at 26 lands, I just... I don't, I don't have opening hands. Like, what is this? Oh, the Thought Erasures can get me there. A little helpful, I guess. All right. They have creatures. I'll keep it on top. Like, I kind of hope they hit me with Paradise Road here so I can kill it. Alright, that's that's the same thing. So I can kill this. It's not the best, obviously, because if they top deck a, a creature that's more impactful, it's obviously going to be an issue. But I need to play things. So, like, I, I essentially have to kill this to get my Murderous Rider down next turn so I can have something on board to keep attacking them. Obviously, it sucks if they top deck something like Anissa here. Um... Just another Paradise Druid, that's fine. Right, so at this point, I could top deck anything but my biggest bolus. And I'd be in an okay spot. Okay. That's helpful. 
Although I think Nissa survives. Yeah, because because Nissa starts at five, Nissa does survive. Behold, nature's true power. Wow. I need a rest. How the hell do I beat Ram? I don't have double red. I guess we're going to 27 lands. So we're going to play Temple. Temple of Deceit in there. And possibly the correct answer is just Yeet the Scarab God. Really like Scarab God. Mm, I don't I don't believe that was correct, but we gotta give it a try, and unfortunately, unfortunately, um, ramp is ramp is the thing, right? Is against aggro, right? You have cards that you can use against control. You have cards that you can use. Okay, <laughs> with the preacher gorilla. All right, against ramp, it's a lot harder to to actually have cards. Come on, that you can reasonably use. All right, this is this is an okay hand. We're going to get aggroed, though, with a hand like this. So this is wizards? No. Don't, I don't know what this is, then. I just kill this? Is this this isn't a Winota deck, right? The plan right now is to kill a thing and then play my Murder Shrider and then play Bolas. If all is wilds. Third Platinum with an Evolving Wilds monocolor deck. What is happening? I didn't want to go off half-cocked if they weren't going to do anything. They're probably going to, in response, use their Grim Lava Mixer, is my guess. So this little exchange is going to cost me four. I can play my Moomin Rider, which could die to a a bolt effect. Down to 12. I don't love it down here in 12. But we do this so we take less damage from our lands. We also force them to actually do something uh, about our Murderous Rider. They only have two one ones on board. So hopefully that bodes okay for me. Um, they do now have the ability to Embercleave. Take out the non-human. I don't know if it actually matters. Shock. That just a shock is fine. I get I get two life back from that, and I kill something. Utterly fine with that shock. Our devastation is nice to see. Play Bolus. Luckily, it seems this red deck might be slow enough that I'll be able to actually capitalize on things. Clearly, you're not allowed to react with that. Oh. 
Oh, it's a young peasy deck. Okay, that makes sense. Hmm. So I could just attack Arab Devastation here. Is that worth doing? Probably. I, I, I assume so. So seven mana, so I can I can cast anything I top deck. Got triple quad black technically. Cool. Cast this. See what this in our opponent's hand. Why would you not just cast that? If if nothing else, it hits me for two. this. We're going to get back this bolus. No one can Don't want your trash. Way. The dead shall serve me. Why not just cast that? Is my opponent feeding? That's the that's the MOBA term, right? Um Aether Gust. Rulant Plague, Languish, and the God Eternals? Makes the most sense to me. We get rid of our highest end boluses. Probably eat the Scarab God as well. Instant Blood doesn't look great against a field with a bunch of dorks, but if we can catch a, um, a young peasy on like turn two, I think it's worth keeping around. Opponent, uh, taking some time here. There we go. I'm waiting for them to, like, have a transformational sideboard or something. How are my mulligans this game? Hopefully, they're pretty decent. I mean, like, like, no, though. It's two lands and they both come and tap? No. This is fine. We'll get rid of this. They're using... They're using different art for their Evolving Wild. For what it's worth, all the Evolving Wild does seem to have really pretty nice art, so... I accept it. It's better than having the basics be different. This is okay. By the way, if you're watching this and you uh, use different basics... Who hurt you? Your basics are meant to be meant to be complementary to the theme and the mechanics of your deck. All right, so we will be able to. Never mind. Um, I think I just I think I just Escanta here, in the hopes. So I can Escanta here next turn probably play this tap daughter razor, followed by Languish is my best guess. That would be an okay. That'd be an okay line of play. Get hit for four here. All right, this is fine. You could argue I should have just played Virulent Plague. This does also get rid of this. So. I really thought this dude had hooves for a second. So I'm looking for land. Alright. Uh, and here, instead of playing language, because it's just the one, uh, I think I do want to play the Nikki B Dragon G. Well, Nikki B the Rabbit G. 
get to yeet a card out of their hand. Obviously, they can use the Grim Lava Mancer, but I'm not too worried about that. And for what it's worth, if they uh, decide to use the Grim Lava Mancer to hit my Nickel Bolas as well as uh, use a Burn Spell on my Bolas, can't really be mad at that. They discarded the Shock, very interesting. I assume they have to have other more powerful spells in their hand if they're going to discard a Shock like that. Burn is definitely the enemy of a Bolas deck because we don't have a ton of life gain. We got, you know, they got Eternals. Um, theoretically speaking, there are some others. I, it'd be very interesting to have, like, Sovereign's Bite or something. You're hitting my face. So that makes me think it's a light at the stage? Yeah, okay. Okay, you got a land and a skewer. Do you skewer my face now? And the plan, no matter what, is, is Claude Erasure. They decide not to. That's interesting. Um. This does gain life. Man, it gains life. I'm gonna graveyard it, though. Alright. I'm probably not attacking. Depends mostly on what's in my opponent's hand. Uh, probably want to yeet that Tor... Well... I guess I don't care about Torbrand, do I? If I play Torbrand, I just languish. I think I just hit the direct damage. That could hit my face, right? No, it couldn't have. That was dumb. I shouldn't have kept that. I shouldn't have uh, used that. Um... No, I don't think I need Innocent Blood. And because I don't want to just get hit for a ton if they play land Torbrand, I'm going to keep it back. If they do play land, do they play Torbrand? Because if so, we, we block and languish. No. I'm still gonna block that. The, your Ramrock Knight does nothing. I guess they can Grim Lava Mancer my face. So yeah, maybe maybe the play is Grim, Grim Lava Mancer my face, and then use their skewer to hit my bolus. That's that's what it looks like, I guess. All right, fair. I kill off Ravager. That's fine with me. That's fine. I haven't put any lands on the bottom, have I? I haven't put any in the graveyard? No. So I just straight up haven't gotten any more lands. Casting around my place? Sure. Uh, I am going to keep this on top. Do you have First Strike or Trample or anything? No. I think I'm just going to cast this. Obviously, the hope is that they don't have a, a single target way to get rid of Murder Shrider, but it looks like they might. Or not. We take those. Man, they really don't want to waste this. Oh, well, this is what happens when you don't cast your damn cards. I take them from you. What the hell do you do? Okay, sure. You do the hokey pokey and you die. Die low, sell die. Live and let die. I'm nothing but dated references. 
I'm going to attack for four. Put you on a clock. I don't know how many haste creatures my opponent has, but I don't think it's very many. Although I guess I haven't seen most of their deck. So, who knows? Yep. <laughs> cool. Cool. Okay. Reasonable. Reasonable. Let's get a third game in there. Third match, I should say. Uh, da -da. Third match. 27 lands. Hopefully it's all good. General practice magic. I wonder if it's anything like general practice medicine. <laughs> I'm not funny. Oh, I, I have an email. I don't know what that is. Why? At least my opponent is mulliganing as well. Uh, this hand is better, fun fact. We do not have a lot of black mana, so we'll do this. Uh, we're going second. They didn't thought seize me on turn one, so that is helpful. Interesting. What are you? Mono black control. Okay. It's pretty good for me, to be honest. I wonder if they play the field of ruin and immediately use it. I don't think it'd be a terrible play, to be honest. Because I, I, they saw me just keep that on top. They choose not to. I think that's fair. It's fine. I can go get a black source. That's fine. I have a red source in hand. It's interesting, if they're going to do that, it's interesting if they just let me draw the card anyway. Wrinkle cannot die to eliminate. Probably just drop the card the canary anyway. Languish. Do I want to languish first? No, I guess while I can, I might as well innocent blood. Although. Yeah, I'll, I'll have some blood. This also makes it so that I can cast a it on their turn. Why is my life this way? Should I be going back to Heartless Act? Also, come on! I totally didn't think of a obliterator. Oh, shoot. I got plenty of destroy effects in the deck. Bolus is going to die. Sure. Uh, I, sh I should have known. I should have known. But I did not. Technically alive. Until my opponent plays a uh, Grey Merchant. Dabriel. Is this one or less? Is scary. 
What? Yep, I'm dead. I'm just a normal ah, never mind. I forgot. <laughs> it can hit Davriel. See, look, it, it, it's helpful. Uh, well, I can transfer my search. I just don't know how important. I, I I have to get a kill spell for this, like now. All right. Ask and you shall receive. Uh, the issue now is my my opponent. I'm certain is playing Gray Merchant. They I know that they have uh, Rankle. I need to get some value. I mean, I'm simply gonna blow up my Escanta. That's that's whatever. Um, fuck off. Witness a mote of my power. Our obsession deals damage. Darn. Ah, oh, I mean, how could have I? How could I have known, dude? Rankle would have gotten me. Um. Take these, I guess. I mean, cry seems bad. I could maybe bring in the gates, but I'm not sure that is going to help all that much. Dot distortion. Maybe they'll mess up fielding me? I, I I do not know. Sure, let's go with this. I don't love it, but... But it, it's what we have. Uh, this hand is keepable. Hey there, Mulligan. That's helpful. I mean, they might hit off an early uh, Thought Erase, which wouldn't exactly be great for them. Uh, I'll, I'll keep that. And what's great is if they play Thought Erase or here, they're not going to hit my... Or if they hit Thought... Uh, thought... Seize. Goodness. If they hit Thought Seize there, they wouldn't have been able to hit my Eraser. Now I can Erase. Um, probably just hit the Spec... Or the Remorse. And then just kill their creatures. Play this tap. Oh, that was dumb. Yeah, that was that was actually pretty stupid. Because now I couldn't uh, end a turn, kill this, hold up something, kill it. Um. Yeah, that was that was dumb of me. Is that random, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I would rather just kill that. Oof, I need to get my head in the game. Okay. To be honest, I'm just going to Arab Devastation this. Because I need to hold this Murderous Rider for their Obliterator. We have four cards left in hand, one of which is an Obliterator. Exodia, Obliterate. Honestly? Rankle waste not dev. Regisaur. So, so it's more of a discard deck than pure control? No, they, they took out a lot of the removal and added in a lot of uh, the discard stuff. Alright, what was in their hand? Well, I can see what's in their hand. I have waste not. So they're gonna hit my Ashiok, unfortunately. Yeah, 
mean, that sucks a huge load, but... What? All right, I don't have I don't have cards in hand anymore, and I'm not going to play anymore. I leave you with one last Weird. Uh, next turn, I can double murder Rider. I can start attacking and stuff. My opponent might just play Rankle Hit Ashy. No idea. Okay, definitely Rankle. Yep, can Nash up, that's fine. You fear me. Nashok's doing their job. I'm gonna keep Ashok around, actually. Yeah. Four in there, Ascanta. Uh, I've got seven mana, so hitting anything would be fine. Devil, yep. Devil, for what it's worth, is a clock. But I do have two uh, movement riders. Well, let's see what they do with the wrinkle here. They're just gonna exile something from my graveyard. Probably the thought erase. No. The hell did they exile? I'm ready to go. Sure. Um, I mean, it, it decreases my search count, but I don't think that matters too much. Do they attack at all? I mean, I, I frankly don't think that they should. Yeah. All I've left you is pain. Um, Sure. All right, I am happy about that. Mm. No. I'm doing this essentially so that I can guarantee flip my Ascanta next turn. This is my... Once again, doesn't attack. That's fine. Ugh, what a whiner. <laughs> I know what I said. Shut up. Can flip my bolus next turn. Yeah, so I can flip my bolus, kill Rankle, and then kill Dav. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> uh, not really. Whatever, it's fine. I guess I can just attack Davriel. No, 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 no. Why have I done this? Why am I stupid, guys? I don't know why I do the things that I do. Sure. Davriel will die. I lose a Murderous Rider that I should not have lost. Our contract is void. But whatever. Is incredible. Do I bring back my Nikki B or do I kill this? What's it cost to kill it? Minus three? Um, I think I'd rather bring back my other bolus. Although I realize it it does mean that if my opponent has a creature removal. Yeah, it, just just messing up that sequencing really sucked. Right, cool. Everything worked out. I know what must be done. I know. 
one must be done. Uh, and we pass. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see if we can get this, uh, this third game win. We're going second. And we know a little bit more about their deck now. So I actually, I actually do want the negates. Um... Glad I have at least eliminates for the the big dinosaur. Um, languish. I mean, this doesn't kill anything anyway. So I think this is fine. Like, like, the two languages are still okay because of, uh... Rankle. Obviously, if my opponent gets, like, uh, early hypnotic specter that I can't deal with, it'll suck, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Can't keep this. Having all three of these in my opening hand is pretty garbage. This is a terrible hand. And you might be like, terrible hand, but you kept it. Yeah, like, <sighs> I can't really mulligan that. No, come on. Now, now's when I'm going to draw the lands. And I need to draw not the lands. Come on, dang game. Thoughties? I thought she's here. Yeah, my opponent draws two cards. <sighs> I, I can't draw any more lands this game. In order to survive. I guess I should. I guess I should have mulligan down to 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 five everybody. I still disagree. I I, I don't think I could have mulligan to five against a a discard deck. And that's that's the thing, right? Like against a against a discard deck, I, I just don't think I was able to mulligan down to five. I'll, I guess having the one card. No, because the, the reason is that they can't they can't discard my lands as easily, and I need the lands to actually like win the game. Uh, I don't know. We were one and two. Hmm. Alright, well. My sealed is doing pretty well. I'm 4 0 now. <laughs> hmm. Gotta keep gotta keep thinking about uh, about stuff. I probably do want to modify it back to Heartless Acts. Is there anything else that I think is worth doing here? I probably should just cut the Scarab God completely. I love Scarab God, but. It's probably better to just not have it. Um, clearly the main contention are the the early game removal. I might want to include another Supreme Will. So it's possible I like yeet the Scarab God, add another Supreme Will. Um, then possibly yeet the Innocent Blood, turn all of these into Heartless Acts, and then add Add one Heartless Act and then add one Languish. That's probably what I'll try next. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clone that shit and do it right now. Because I will absolutely forget. So we're gonna eat these. I'm gonna eat you. I don't know why I did this. Some 
heartless axe in there. And then we want to up this and up this. Um, and having more supreme wheels should hopefully make it so I have flood issues a little bit less. Obviously, we have to get rid of the, the garbage heartless act uh, thing. But yeah, it's possible that that's the correct trigger configuration. Uh, but yeah, we'll find out next week <laughs> on Dragon Ball Z. No, I, I really would like to uh, thank my lovely patrons for this continued support, especially you, Fogwin. If you'd like to join them for the show, you'll find links in the description below. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video, as I have. Uh, if you have any suggestions or whatnot, feel free to put them in the comments. Uh, speaking of comments, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff uh, really does help the channel. And of course, until next time, I will be one.